The least many many is getting, um, less many. Great, now we're done with the mini jokes from here on out. The all new, second generation countryman is wider, longer, and rides on a stretched wheelbase. And oh yeah, the plug-in hybrid is the first electrified minute since the Mini E last seen in 2010. By adding 8.1 inches of length and 1.3 inches to the width, the Countryman is easily the biggest Mini ever built. As a key carrying fan of Mini's older pine sized models, this is a disappointment. But the size increases pay dividends in the cabin, making this effectively the first Mini that won't result in assault charges for forcing passengers to ride in the back. The 2.9-inch stretch in the Countryman's wheelbase contributes to a hefty 3.8-inch jump in second row legroom, and there's around 2 inches of extra shoulder room in both rows. There's a bump in cargo volume, too. Trunk space increases B1.1 cubic feet with the second row up, and 5.4 cubic feet with the back seats folded down. That cargo space is easy to reconfigure, too, with the 40-20-40 split in the seats and up to 5 inches of 4-F movement. So yes, the Countryman is an annoyingly large Mini, but it's inarguably the most versatile and family-friendly vehicle ever built by the British brand. Whether the overall dimensions please or anger you, everyone can get excited by the changes under the hood. Leading the pack is the first ever hybrid Mini. Called the Cooper SE Countryman All 4, Mini paired its excellent 1.5-liter, turbocharged 3-cylinder with a 7.6-kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery and an 87-horsepower electric motor for a total output of 221 horsepower and 284 pound-feet of torque which is enough for a brisk 6.8 second run to 60 miles per hour. Fully charged from the plug on the driver's side front fender, the latest electrified Mini can cover 24 miles at up to 77 miles per hour. We like that kind of balance, balance, the least Mini Mini is getting, um, less Mini. Great, now we're done with the Mini jokes from here on out. The all-new, second-generation Countryman is wider, longer, and rides on a stretched wheelbase. And oh yeah, the plug-in hybrid is the first electrified Mini since the Mini E last seen in 2010. By adding 8.1 inches of length and 1.3 inches to the width, the Countryman is easily the biggest Mini ever built. As a key carrying fan of Mini's older pine-sized models, this is a disappointment.